Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Tuesday the 8th. I am going to be announcing the winner to my thankful number one giveaway later today. I'm going to let it run some more until today. And I'll put that video up this evening with the second giveaway. So be sure to check out, you know, watch out for that video when it comes. But anyways, I wanted to hop on here and show you two little things that I finished. One, because one is going away. <laughs> it's a gift and it's going to my sister. And I didn't, I'm not sure when she's coming to get it. So I wanted to show it before uh, I ran out of time to. <laughs> Junior's right off here. She is eating some teething biscuit things. So if you hear crunching, that's why. Or baby babbles. Anyways, so she did buy me the yarn to make her uh, project. So I'll show you the yarn real quick. I got a, uh, a ball of bright yellow from Red Heart, which um, I filmed a Happy Mail video. I had a lot of this in it, but I haven't yeah. edited it yet because yeah. June was making a lot of noise and I was thinking about refilming it. Uh, so I got I to gotta see how loud it is. <laughs> But anyways, I got some of this yarn recently in Happy Mouth from Heather, the Crochet Witch. But uh, this isn't one of those. My sister bought me this one um, after that came. And I, I thought it was so funny. I was like, hey, I just got some of that. But so I used some of it, as you can see. And this is Red Heart Super Saver Bright Yellow. And then I used Red Heart Super Saver. She also bought this buff. I used a lot of it. It's a lot floppier. And then I used just a tiny little bit of this. I think it's called Dusty Gray. Which is good because I actually needed this in my stash. I'm almost out of grace. So I only used a little tiny bit. You can't even tell any of it's used. <laughs> but what I made her was a tiny tree skirt for... She has a three foot tree. She has like a regular tree for her living room. But she has a three foot tree which I don't know where she put it. But it's firefighter themed. Her husband is a firefighter. So they have all kinds of firefighter ornaments. And she wanted to make a tree specifically for that. So she asked me to make her a tree skirt. So I made this one. This is... It's about 19 inches. Uh... The size according to Google. And I looked at a lot of research for a three foot tree is a 18 inch circle. So I made her this one and it's supposed to look like uh, the turnout clothes that firefighters wear when they're going into uh, fires, you know, the, the outfit you think of when you think of firefighters. Uh, so it's like the khaki color and then the reflective uh, strips on there. And yeah, so uh, this is not a pattern. This is one that I just did myself because I couldn't find, I did a little a little bit of digging around for a three foot tree skirt. I couldn't find one specifically for tree, uh, three foot. So then I was just looking at tree skirts to try to find just a round one that didn't have any like special stitches or points or anything. Couldn't find that. So uh, I just kind of read some tree skirts to see how they got started. Cause I wasn't sure how they first started off without making them ripple, you know? Um, and so I read a few and I got like a basic idea. So that's what I did. I just winged it. I think I chained, let's see here, I used a eye hook, a 5.5 millimeter, and this is all worsted weight yarn. Let's see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18, 19, 20, 21, <laughs> 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 20, 29, 30. Let's see here. I think I was chained 31 because it's increments of 6 plus 1. I think it was 31. And then I started off with, I did 2, I did an increase in the second chain from the hook and then 2. And then increase 2, increase 2, all the way down. And then for the whole pattern I just added one extra stitch. So the next row was increase 3, the next row was increase 4, increase 5, all the way down to increase I think 20. And then the last row, I did that one stitch I was talking about the other day. I don't know what it's called. I need to look up and find what it's called. But it's where you start to do like a regular single crochet. But then when you put your yarn in, yarn over and pull through. And you got the two loops on your hook. Instead of yarn over and pull through to make a single crochet, I uh, twisted my whole hook around. And then yarn over and pulled through. And it makes a cool, almost like a crab stitch uh, border. But it's done differently, I think, than a crab stitch. But I really like the way it looks. It just looks really nice and neat. And did you drop it? There you go. You don't want that? You want a graham cracker? You want me to get you a graham cracker? I'm gonna go get her graham cracker. But yeah, so I just did uh, so many rows. I had my ruler out measuring it because I knew it needed to be about 18 inches. Uh, the whole circle, the whole diameter or whatever. So I just did a bunch of buff. <laughs> and then I did two rows of the yellow, one row of gray, two rows of the yellow. And then I finished off with two rows of the buff. And then I did that special stitch border. But these are all half double crochets. I don't know if I said that. But I think it turned out really good. She likes it, and a lot of other people that I've shown it to like it that are firefighter-related people. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm proud of it. So I got to make her this tree skirt, and then I got I get to keep the extra yarn, so I'm happy with that. 
You want a graham cracker? I'll go get you one. Okay, so that is, I made this yesterday, by the way, Monday. I think I started it Sunday night, just barely, like two rows, and ended up having, you know, do mom things. Uh, but I finished it up yesterday. And then my other finished object is a little tiny amigurumi, uh, from the, the Five Little Monster, um, website, Five Little Monsters, yeah. They're doing, uh, one little amigurumi pattern a day. It's like an advent countdown through November so that you have them all ready for December. Uh, or for gifts or things. And I skipped the angel because I just don't have the right color yarns to make it. And then actually today's day, uh... Eight <laughs> is a little ballerina and again I don't have I just don't have good enough of yeah, skin yeah, colors yeah. I have some brown but I'm really low on it and I don't know like if there's going to be any more like gingerbread -y type things and I would rather have a gingerbread themed Christmas ornament than a ballerina because I like I know the ballerina is associated with nutcracker but I would rather have something else other than a ballerina but anyways uh this I think was day five because six I think was a hot chocolate which I'm going to make. Seven was an ornament, which I'm, I want to make. And then today was with the ballerina. So I'll push it to stay five. But it's a little tiny teddy bear. <laughs> I didn't have a, another color brown to make the muzzle a contrasting color. So I just used all that one brown. And this is that random yarn that I was gifted that doesn't have like name or anything on it. It just says the Inspirations website on it. Uh, I believe it's a size two. And I used an E hook, I think. It's a three millimeter. And I just did little stitched eyes because I didn't want to use the safety eyes. And the nose is just stitched on there too. And uh, yeah. he's cute. And then I have this little bow that I'm going to put on him. I just haven't done it yet. This is off of like a sucker or something that I got Jesse for his countdown. And it, it fell off and I thought that'd be cute on his little neck. <laughs> but yeah. uh, so I'm going to make some of these ornaments. I, I'm not going to make all of them. Like I skipped the angel and I skipped the ballerina today. And then, you know, there might be something I just don't like uh, that I'll skip. But I liked the little teddy bear. I thought it was cute. Um, oof, I'm almost dropping them. And I really like working on this small yarn. I didn't think I would. So I'm, I'm actually going to start looking into buying some more. So I have like a little stash of size 2 yarn to make little amigurumis with. Because um, it's actually fun. I like making them little. I know a lot of people like Rebecca and, from uh, Yarn Pajamas and uh, a few other people. I can't think of them off the name. I know that um, Elisa, Elisa, I'm not sure how you say her, from Anaya's Toy Box. She uses really small yarn to make like really nice looking amigurumis. She actually have one. I have one from both of them. <laughs> um, and I, I just like, you know, I'm, I'm getting more comfortable using smaller yarn. Uh, mine don't look anywhere as good as theirs do. You can see my stitches are all kind of all over the place. And I'm not that good at uh, positioning the little body parts. But I, feel, I think he's adorable and he's going to be even cuter with the little bow on. I'm, I, I don't know if it'll fit. I guess I can do that because it's going to be an ornament. It won't be messed with with the kids. You need them graham crackers. You need them good graham crackers, huh? This little thing just barely fits around his neck. Let me twist it on there. It's got like a twist yeah. on it. See, he's so cute with the little bow on. And the little hangier thingy. He's adorable. <laughs> I guess I could have made him in any color because he's a teddy bear. But I wanted to make him brown. Just yeah. to make him look like a brown teddy bear. But I, I'm, I'm really close to being out of brown. So I hope there's not too many more cute things I want to make. Or I can just get creative. But anyways, those are the two things that I made. So I'll link this pattern down below. And uh, I don't have a pattern for this. But if anyone's yeah. interested, I, might, I could write it up for you. Uh, and you could make this any size you want, starting off, you know, just keep going and <laughs> just keep increasing. Um, but I think it's really nice. I, li I really like this border. There's a big old fly on my curtain. One of those big house flies. I gotta swat it or shoo it out. <laughs> but I really like it. I was proud. I was a little worried I wasn't gonna make it as good as, like, she wanted it. You know, I'm, I'm always worried about stuff like that. I think we all are. <laughs> uh, but she liked it a lot and other people liked it. So I'm happy that he's so cute with his little bow. I just love him. <laughs> But yeah, so I've got, like I said, I'm going to announce the winner later today. I'm just going to go ahead and give people a little bit more time to uh, enter it. And then I will put the other video up. Uh, mm, probably around 4-ish, 5-ish this evening. I will announce that winner. Because it will be when Devin gets up and he can help me with the baby. <laughs> so that I can uh, record without being interrupted so much. Right now she's eating, so. <laughs> but yeah, so. I don't know what else I'm going to work on. I, I got some of these little ornaments that I'm going to work on. I'm working on my advent swaps. This one is the one for Terry uh, from Yarn Joint Podcast. We're doing a challenge swap four weeks in December uh, where we send each other, you know, a challenge kit. I could be excited about that. I bought something at Walmart today. Aww. I wish it was 24 days. But they have a, a, this is hot chocolate, different flavored ones, 12 days of Grinchmas. <laughs> and they have another one that is 12 days 
of hot chocolate bombs so i think i might get that and then i'll have 24 days and then i can do a hot chocolate every day along with my swaps my, my everyday swap with jen and then terry's is once every week you okay yeah plus our other just our other shenanigans we're gonna get into for i don't think i'm gonna call it vlogmas this year so i don't get so that i don't have to vlog every day I think I'm going to call it Stitch Miss <laughs> so that I can talk about my yarn and stuff that I'm getting with Jen. Uh, and then I can do little vloggy bits at the end of it. I think that's what I'm going to do so that I don't have so much pressure to get a vlog out every single day. Because it's kind of, it's a lot of work. And it's a whole lot of work with a baby. Her birthday is a month and a day after Christmas. So she gets Christmas presents and then birthday presents. <laughs> but, uh, so I'm excited about this. And also I have a box. It's on my dryer. You can't see it full of Christmas things that I got for Jen for a swap, a couple things for Terry, and all of Jesse's countdown stuff. He's getting a Lego advent. I think it's supposed to come next week. But uh, I'm, I'm buying a whole bunch of little treats and things for him to get every day. Um, you know, like a, it's like a countdown. I do it for Halloween and Valentine's Day and Christmas. So uh, we're going to do that. So I, I got... I need four more things for him. I have 20. I could have sworn I had the right amount, but I counted them earlier, and there's only, there's four not there. So I gotta get four more things for him. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about doing June this year because she's so little; she can't hardly eat anything. But next year I'll be doing both of them. <laughs> but I guess that's everything. I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and get this up for you guys, and then I'll announce the winner later today, and there'll be another giveaway. So, anyways, I'll link the little teddy bear down below, and if anyone's interested in this, let me know in the comments, and I will work on typing it up, and I'll post it somewhere eventually <laughs> but uh yeah i guess that's it bye guys